Hi, my name is Sophie and welcome back to my channel. I provide workout videos to inspire others to be fit like a figure skater and to keep figure skaters fit. So today we're gonna be doing a Cora workout with a mini Pilates ball. You can definitely do this workout without the ball. It's just gonna add a little bit more intensity with the ball and it's going to work out a little bit more extra places. So if you're ready, we're just gonna get right into it. So we're gonna start off on our knees. Legs and knees are hip width apart. And we're just gonna focus on just squeezing the ball with our arms extended out in front of us. We're making sure that our pelvis is tucked under, so we're not arching here in our back at any point. We're keeping our core nice and strong, and we're just gonna stretch our arms in front. We're gonna take a nice inhale through the nose, and then exhale, squeeze, exhale out of your mouth. Feeling that core. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze. And release three. Exhale, squeeze. And four. And squeeze. Release, squeeze. And six, we're doing 10 of these. Seven. Eight, nine, and last one, 10. Good, now we're gonna add an extra movement to this. We're gonna go back a little bit, keeping that pelvis tucked under, and as we go back, we're gonna squeeze the ball. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, go back, squeeze. Inhale, release everything. Exhale, squeeze. And let's do about six more of these. And three. Four. Five. Six. Trying to keep your shoulders down as well. We're not slouching back. And last one. Good, take a moment, just release the ball. We're gonna add now a twist to it. So same movement, going back, just twisting slightly at a diagonal. So lift your ball, let's inhale. Exhale, come back, squeeze and twist slightly, and then back to center, inhale. Exhale, let's go to the other side and center and three center four center halfway there five and six seven eight And just come back to center. Let's release the ball, just coming onto our knees. You can place your ball to the side for a moment. Don't let it roll away too far. <laughs> and we're just gonna come to a nice child's pose. Just taking a moment here. And let's come onto our hands and our knees. If at any point your knees hurt, just double up your mat. That will help with the knee pain. We're gonna bring our ball in between our knees. We're gonna tuck our toes under and we're gonna get ready for what is called a bear pose. So when we lift up, always exhale. Really feel that, uh, the abs working. Sorry, lost my thought for a moment. We're gonna inhale. Exhale, lift your knees. And back down. And we'll do that for about seven more times. So lift. Inhale down. And three. And four. 
five. So it's gonna really work your inner thighs as well. Last two. And last one, now let's hold it in our bear pose. Make sure you're not arching in your back. And we're just gonna pulse, squeezing that ball. So pulse, pulse, squeeze, squeeze. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold it, hold that squeeze. And then just release. And again, let's take a nice child's pose. Taking a nice deep breath here. And now let's come to our hands and our knees. And we're gonna get ready for our bird dog pose. So instead of lifting the arm and the hand up, we're gonna keep that hand on the ball squeezing. So let's start with our left arm and our right leg back. So lifting that right leg, keeping the hip turned in, your pelvis is under and your left hand is on that ball. First, let's just hold here, just getting our balance, our stability. And then we're just gonna bring that right leg down. We're gonna inhale, exhale, lift, and at the same time, squeeze the ball. And down. And press the ball and lift. And three. Inhale, exhale up. And five. Six. Seven. And last one, eight. Now let's add on to this. We're just gonna come in with our knee, then stretch, squeeze, and lift a little bit higher. So in with the knee, still squeezing, then stretch and give an extra squeeze, lift up. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, good. And three more. Inhale, exhale as the knee comes to the chest. Then exhale again and knee to chest. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good. Keep that leg extended, and we're just going to pulse up the leg while we press on the ball for two, three, this time 10, and just breathing naturally. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold it, and just release. Let's just bring our ball all the way up, lifting the left arm, and then just bring that left arm down, right arm goes above your head and just holding here for a quick little shoulder twist. Alrighty, let's come back to our all fours and we're gonna repeat everything on the other side. So let's place the ball under our other hand. We're gonna stretch first into our bird dog just to get our balance ready. So inhale, exhale, lift everything on the other side. Keep squeezing the ball with your hand down. And let's begin, so bring that leg down, take a nice inhale, exhale, press on the ball, lift your leg. Inhale, release. Exhale, press and lift. And three. Four. Keeping that pelvis under. Five. Six. 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's come up. And we're just gonna add that nice knee to chest movement. So inhale, exhale, knee to chest, press, release, inhale, exhale, lift higher. And knee to chest, stretch, lift higher. And knee to chest, stretch, lift higher, good. And knee to chest, stretch, lift higher, three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, and knee to chest, stretch, lift higher, good, now let's add those pulses while we press, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold the press and your leg up and release. Grab your ball up, inhale, exhale. Let's just rest that arm on the mat. Your left arm goes above your head and just hold here for a moment. And let's release. Let's now come onto our glutes. Keeping our legs hip width apart, we're just gonna take our C curve movement. All we're gonna do first is just bringing our hands in front of us. And we're just gonna inhale, exhale, squeeze the ball, come back slightly, like we did when we were on our knees. And two. Inhale, exhale, three, and four. Just eight of these. Five. Six. Seven. And last one, eight. Good. Now come back to center and we're gonna add a twist like we did on our knees. So let's inhale, exhale, twist and squeeze the ball and slightly back. Inhale, exhale the other side. Trying to keep your posture here so we're not shrinking here with the shoulders down. And four, inhale, exhale, five and six, seven, eight, and come back to center. And we're just gonna come back and we're just gonna squeeze the ball, keeping your abs engaged, ribs to your hips, and let's squeeze, 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 four, five, just breathing naturally, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold the squeeze. And now just slowly release onto the mat. And now we're just gonna do a little bit of bridge actions, which are really great for your core. And we're gonna add a little bit more to that. So first let's just bring our ball in between our knees. And we're just gonna come up for bridges with a crunch. So first, let's bring our arms up above our head. We're gonna inhale, exhale, squeeze the ball while we lift our upper body. Then inhale, release your upper body. Exhale, squeeze and lift. And let's take that for two. Inhale, exhale, lift those hips, keeping the pelvis under though. And now lift, crunch up, and lift, 
and four. Release, lift, and five. And lift, got three more. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale up. Two more. And seven. Lift the hips. Last one, inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale up. Good, bring your arms back to the sides of your body. We're just gonna lift up into that bridge again, keeping the pelvis under, and we're just gonna take pulses for one, two, three, four, five, six. Feel your abs, eight, nine, 10. Let's take 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold that squeeze and just come down. Good. Now let's just bring our legs into a nice tabletop position. Arms still stay down to the sides and we're just going to take a nice uh, movement up and down with the legs. So we're gonna inhale down exhale come back up and give your ball a good squeeze inhale down exhale squeeze and three four trying to keep that lower back on the mat at all times and six seven and eight, good. Now let's hold in this position. We're now gonna bring our hands behind our head and all we're gonna do is, is just lift our upper body and squeeze the ball. So we inhale, exhale, lift and squeeze, and down, and two, and three. Trying to keep your elbows nice and open when you do this. And five, almost there. Three more. Last two. Last one. Now hold it up. Coming to our last exercise, just squeeze the ball for one, two, three, Engage those abs, belly button up the spine. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold the squeeze. And now release. Release the ball to the side. And we're just gonna take a nice stretch with our arms and our legs extended, holding onto your hands together. Just take a nice arch in your spine. You're taking a nice inhale as well. And just release. Let's stretch the legs up. And we're just gonna take a nice stretch for those inner thighs. So just open up like you're going to be doing a split. And then just release. Roll yourself back up. And we are finished for today. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you guys had a great workout and I hope to see you again. So until next time, bye.